I'm at the International Houseware Show in Chicago, and I'm with Monica Decker, who is talking about contact paper today. Monica, contact paper has been around since as long as I can remember. Oh, yeah. And I remember it being in my grandmother's kitchen cabinets. We put it in our kitchen cabinets growing up. But you're here to tell me how we can use contact paper in other areas of our lives as well. Contact has developed so much since our grandmother's day. Yeah. It's no longer the just the adhesive liner in the kitchen cabinets. We've taken it to the bedroom. This is very yeah. pretty. This is the fabric top liner that it's non-adhesive with a soft backing mm -hmm. to protect your delicates in the bedroom drawer. Oh, it's, it's like, um, it's sort of spongy. It, it yeah. feels very yeah. it, squishy. It's, it's soft, um, it's non-adhesive, so it just protects your delicates, nothing gets snagged in the drawers, It's and beautiful designs. Well, you know what, the designs are really pretty, and what I'm thinking about is an yeah. old dresser. Like, I have an old dresser at home, and the wood, you know, it can get a little rough, it can get yeah. snags on yes, it. Yes, exactly. And if you put delicate things in there, they could get damaged. Exactly. So this is the perfect thing, this and you just cut it to fit, and it sticks right in perfect there. Perfect solution. Now, what do you have in your hand here? So in my hand, actually, that. it's another, again, ideal for a drawer. It's a faux suede it's liner. It's suede. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, it is suede. We have it in a couple of different colors, and this one is an adhesive liner, so um, opposed to the spongy that doesn't slip, this one will keep it in place with adhesive. So I would use this in the same applications? Exactly. Inside of jewelry drawers or Perfect. any kind of lingerie even, drawers? Even decorating a, a nice box. You know, a jewelry box, oh, the outside of your jewelry box, a uh, good idea. photo box. It can be used in arts and crafts applications oh as gosh, well. Oh my that's a great idea. Yeah. Excellent. We can take it beyond just a decorative liner. Well, it's who knew? A resurfacing. Well, we're going to talk about how to use contact paper outside the home as well today. Absolutely. So stay tuned for that. Now we're here talking to Monica about how to use contact paper outdoors. Monica, tell me a little bit about your new product line that you can use outside. Absolutely. We have a deep embossed liner, which is one of our thickest liners that we have come out with. Okay. It is the ideal solution to re resurfacing a piece of furniture that really looks a little aged. Cut to size, peel the liner off. So it's adhesive? It's self-adhesive, okay. yes. Okay, so I could use this outdoors, under the weather, and it would be fine? It would be fine. Just make sure you roll under, tuck it under, and tuck it under get, a, you know, get a nice seal on it. Now, you also mentioned um, when we were talking a little earlier about file cabinets. Absolutely. You know, sometimes a file cabinet, a black file cabinet, doesn't necessarily work in the home and coordinate. This is the ideal solution to resurface it, give it a nice, fresh, clean look while you still have a functional cabinet. That's really different and really um, something that home office clients could really use when they're redoing their office and they need a new fresh decor. Absolutely. Excellent. Well, in a minute, we're going to take a look at how we can remedy the problem of ventilated wire shelving in Absolutely. many people's houses. Great. Now we're here at the premium shelf lining and we're going to talk a little bit about ventilated shelving. A lot of my clients have wire shelving in their pantries and their closets. They either don't have the budget or the inclination to tear it all out. So tell us how this solves that problem. Well this, the solution for this is it's a non-adhesive liner that is it's textured it's easy to clean, but when lining your wire shelving, you can put small items on it and they won't fall through, which is the, one of the bigger problems when you have wire shelving. Yeah, it is. And in pantries, also small items like bottles tend to tip on wire shelving, whereas That's this will exactly. make a smooth surface so everything will stay stable. That's exactly it. You know, Contact has really come out with some new great things and we're thrilled to have you here talking to us today. From the International Houseware Show, I'm Monica Rickey.